Back again guys, right we're doing the third recipe of the evening. Now this is the Slovenkin, this is the Dutch dish I was telling you about earlier, which is basically pork mince. Now for preference I go for the 5%, keeps the fat content down. We have streaky bacon, which when we're ready, I'm going to stretch out like I've done with these pieces already. Finely chopped onions, eggs, liquid seasoning, and we've got some breadcrumbs I've just blasted with the food processor. Normally, I would use um, like day old breads, uh, bread rolls, just straight from the bakery anything you got left over. My oven's making a funny buzzing noise tonight. Yep, there's a tray on attached. But tonight I'm just literally using some, there's four slices of bread in there, which I blasted with the food processor. Okay, very easy, but it's messy. You're gonna need to remove your rings because we're getting in there and we're gonna squeeze all the love into this dish, okay? So we have, there's just a generic 500 gram pack of 5% fat pork mince, just some onions, and the breadcrumbs. Put them to the side and eggs oh, yeah. bust them up the only other thing I'll need is a little bit of water probably just to moisten the breadcrumbs at the end and then we're just getting in there and we're gonna squeeze and this is a real ooky job and you've just got to squeeze it all together. Squeeze it through your finger so it all sticks together. You see the eggs bringing everything together? The egg is actually the thing that's going to hold it together along with the water so that it doesn't get too sticky. Okay, now I need my helper's help as you will in my cameraman's help, shall I say, because I didn't put any of the liquid seasoning in yet. So. Okay, go for it. Give it a good shake. This is a brand new bowl, so it's gonna take a bit. Make sure you don't touch the meat though, so that you can use it in new vegetarian projects. Keep going. There we go. Good, good, good. That's. <laughs> Ooh, she's getting a little carried away, look. I think she's the chef. And then squeeze it in. This is very much the same process as you would do for making your turkey stuffing. Only we're not putting herbs in. The helper does not like the noise of the meat. <laughs> squish. Yeah. Squish. Nice. Definitely, you can see it's a bit dry. That's because the bread has soaked up the moisture. So, Wheezy, could you get me a few? Oh, oh, oh I'm going to shove it out of the way now. Get me a little jug of. Yep, that's grand. Just need a little bit of water. Oh, oh, up close and personal with the bowl. The melted bowl. Now. Whilst I'm talking to you, we're going to be, yep, yep, just pour a little bit of water in. Whoop, that's grand. Just add things little by little. She's just added probably 10 mils of water there. So we can squeeze it all together. And it still feels quite dry, so we're going to add a little bit. Oh, oh, there's an arm. Add a little bit more. Yeah, that should do it. Ooh, there. 
It's a grass. A little squelch. Squelch is great. It's great for upsetting the kids. Oh, I don't like the sound. It's like doing a spatchcock chicken where you cut straight down the spine and then you press it down and it goes. <laughs> yep. That has kids running in all directions. Now, no, thank you. Obviously, you cannot taste this. This is raw meat. So you need to use your other senses. Now, to me, this feels good. It's got a good sticky texture and it's going to hold itself together when we make the meatballs. Now you need to use this smell. I think I would like some more uh, Maggie, please. Liquid seasoning. Other liquid seasonings are available. Honestly, can't get to grips with this. Go for it. Da, 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 da. Whoa! Thank you. Honestly, I just got given a look there for the uh, the fact that I named the brand of my liquid seasoning. Such a, yeah, if it looks good, kill. I'd be six foot under right now. All right, just finish it off. Mix the liquid seasoning of a generic type. <laughs> you just need me. Lovely. Mix that all in. And you can smell it. You can smell the seasoning now above the onion and the bread. I've used wholemeal bread today because that's what I happen to have in the house. But that has quite a strong flavour. So, you know, you need to balance it out with the other flavours. So you can see, this is quite bouncy. It's quite a ploppy mess. Which is good. So, now, we need to wrap it. So what we're doing is we take... Can you see the difference? I stretched this one earlier. Now, this is why we use streaky baking. Because it's very, very... Streaky bakey? Yeah, streaky, streaky bakey. It's very forgiving and you can see the difference in length so I'll show you you literally just lay it flat on the mat get the back of your knife and you're stretching it you don't need to use a sharp knife for this you can just use your standard eating cutlery and just stretch it you're just thinning it out a little bit and the bacon is being stirred up by the cat the cat who's upside down in the hallway as per usual so we've stretched out the bacon so we're gonna make little hey church now you see it's only about the same width as my fingers I've only got little hands so just you judge this pack should make about 12 now apologies to any Dutch people out there couldn't find a recipe for it so I invented my own based on the taste of them when we've been over there. Incidentally the Dutch have got some fabulous flavours in their food. So we we'll literally put it on and wrap our little sausages around. So you got like little parcels. Parcels? It's a parcel. Just taking the mic out of me. And we just, there is something here as a baking tray. You just, you just almost stood on the cat's tail. You did almost stand on the cat. The cat is busy eating as well. And He's we like, yeah, the humans won't give me any uh, meat. <laughs> no, this is raw meat. You don't want this cat. And just carry on. I am. Um, it's got a tail. It's yes. a little over. It's folded. We, it's fine. And we just wrap it. And like I say, this is 500 grams of pork mince. Mind the cap. Would you stop that or I'm going to end up tripping over fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we'd all laugh. <laughs> yes, because I'd be on camera and that's <laughs> not what anybody needs in their life. Actually, it's probably what everybody needs in their life. And I'll probably end up on. One You've of these been framed. Possibly, yes. <laughs> so, these are some I've obviously I've already stretched. And 
you get about 12 out of here which is perfect size for a family of five when three of them are children yes i'm very well aware missus that you will eat them like mind the cat pack it in <laughs> right these are perfect for barbecues but if you're going to do them on the barbecue prep them earlier and chill them for a little bit just so as they hold their texture uh, you can grill them just in your normal grill you can fry them I don't really like to fry them because you're never a hundred percent sure whether they're going to be near yeah, properly cooked and you keep looking for the cat I'm not going to trip over the cat <laughs> stretch some more bacon and you so, keep looking for him even uh, though you know I he's do. not there I know I know that's because you're a wicked child and I should beat you but I wouldn't be able to catch you so it's not likely you've so got just... short legs <laughs> The support and love I have in this house. I could probably just walk slow and you wouldn't even catch me. Ah, that's really amusing. Um, but yeah. it's for the viewers. So, yep, if you're going to do it on the barbecue, chill it ahead of time. If you're going to fry it, fry it on low. You need to be sure that this is cooked right the way through. Mind the cat. Pork mince is one of those things, well any kind of pork, you need to make sure that it is properly cooked through. I'm not going to go into the whys and wherefores of it because I don't want to put you off your food. However, if you look into it, you'll find that there are a lot of things about raw pork that you really don't want in your life or your belly. Or anywhere else in your body. So just keep on stretching. I'm doing mine in the oven and I've set the oven, pan oven if you remember, and I've set it at 180 degrees centigrade. No you haven't. Well I will have done when I turn it right down. It's on 200. It's an automatic thing. It go. It's, it's Hang on a minute, it's on 200. Eh, guts, kids. I'm not a kid. Oh, I'm almost a teenager. You're almost a no, teenager. I'm almost, <laughs> I'm almost a. Wave. I'm almost an adult. She is in fact 16 and a pain in my behind. So. Mmm. 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 So yes, I'm cooking it in the oven. It'll take about probably about 20 minutes. You need to I'm stretch more. I'm making meatballs. You're It'll making take about 20 <laughs> minutes, 20, 25 minutes to make sure that they're properly cooked. You can tell by the colour of them. You don't need to be worrying about prodding them and everything. The bacon will help to cook it, so we're not adding any additional fat. So you're not spraying them or basting them. You just cooking them in the oven. So, right, another two. Do you know what? I might actually need my other pack of bacon. I might get a little bit more out of these than I planned. You're on eight so far. I'm on eight so far. I'm going to get more than that. I think I will need the other pack of bacon. But anyway, so I've made these pretty small. Obviously you make them as big as you want them, but the bigger they are, the longer they cook. And a teenager like me cannot wait too long for food. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were a teenager. You're nearly a teenager. That's what you've just told everybody. I'm near, nearly an adult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She might not make it. Oh. It's a little bit, a bit like making Christmas presents. You're just wrapping things. Wrapping it round and over. I don't want to meet a meat present for my do Christmas you present. I um, do. If I served you up a whole load of Slovenkin on Christmas morning, you'd love it. Slovenkin potato salad. See? See, this is what my kids enjoy. Simple pleasures. 
Yet she her, yet she forgets to make our traditional um, Christmas Eve lunch some days. I don't forget to make it. Christmas Eve in this house involves potato salad, as you've just seen, and bratwursts, and if I can be, if I can face a full jar of sauerkraut because nobody else eats it, just me. Oh, you should see the face from behind the camera. Honestly, you'd have thought I would just offer them bogeys or something like that. Um, or jelly. Oh, jelly. I like jelly. Oh, jelly. I can't um, have jelly! But, anywho, we have the bratwurst, sauerkraut, potato salad, and salad. And that's what we would have. No, that, that's your, your dinner on Christmas Eve. And what do you have on Christmas Eve? No sauerkraut! <laughs> Uh, told you, I'd be Sauerkraut belongs in the ocean. In the ocean? Yep. Cabbage belongs in the ocean. Yep. Pickled cabbage for the fishes. Yes! Mm, there's a floor in this somewhere. So. Can't give tuna to a tuna fish! Oh lordy, she's quoting Lilo and Stitch now. Net dead ching you. And. Actually, how many have I got left? We've got... Oh, I have got six left. One, two, three, four, four, yeah. I'll just have to make this a slightly bigger one. And then we'll have our four... Hey, you sh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Wow! Bonus! My 12 rashers pack of bacon actually has 16 in it. No, it doesn't. It has 14. I can count. So oh great, it's maths with Mama Bear. <laughs> it's the rubbish maths version <laughs> of, our, <laughs> of so. every lesson. Ha ha ha. Right, here we go. Just stretch out the rest of them. And then, as I say, you know they're cooked when they're golden brown. Very much like if you were cooking a burger in the oven. And then it goes straight to my stomach. Uh, and it goes straight straight to my waistline. <laughs> Not mine! I am going to need another tray in a minute. But I'll do that off camera. So yes, there we have it guys. You folded this, out. I'm aware of that dear. This is a why are you leaning on the tablets and making a funny noise? <laughs> it sounds like a frog. Mm, just a little bit. <laughs> this is a very tasty and reasonably quick and healthy meal. So long as you choose lean bacon and low fat um, pork mince mix. The more fat you have on uh, on the, the pork mince and the more fat you have on the bacon, the bigger the hit of flavour, yes, but it starts to become quite heavy on the calories, Can especially as they're very... turkey mince? I don't know, it's not something I've ever tried. It's possible. I mean, you'd have to play around. Um, I wouldn't use beef mince or ground beef, depending on where you are. Um, the flavour is too strong for it and it wouldn't really, in my opinion, go with the bacon. That's a long Two. piece of bacon. It is a long piece of bacon. This one went a long way. See what I mean though? It's just a... No, oh, it looks like a sausage. It does look like a Flatten it off there. There we go. So I'll do these last two and they will have to go on a separate tray or I'll just bully some space onto the tray. There is and enough then, space on that tray. There it is, there it is. I'll show you the tray in a second. It's folded again. I know. Just keep putting folds in the bacon and it's annoying. It's bacon, not a snake. These are very Moorish. 
Not enough space on the tray. Oh, because one of these isn't large. Okay. What's wrong with the large ones, eh? One of these is a big one. And then the final one. Hey, hey you made it look like Stonehenge. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Midsummer dinner. <laughs> and just stretch it out. You it's don't folded. need to be gentle with it. And then you just wrap it around. Like I say, these are very Moorish, so I would recommend two per person. See? Stonehenge. There we go. And this is what they look like beforehand, after. They're going to have shrunk a little bit and the bacon will have wrapped itself nice and tight around it and it will be holding it all together. So, I'm so we sew them an after shot just before we throw everything on the plate. I'll add a photo. I'll add a photo in. We'll add just a photo in. So we will see you later. And I hope. Remember, two of these is a good meal. Get off. They're you not cooked. You need to no. move it. Okay, I've moved it. Two of these is a good meal. But they are very, very Moorish and I can guarantee people will want more. Yeah. So, enjoy. Four is a good meal. Four is a good meal. Four is a very big meal. Enjoy getting yourself mucky and enjoy the flavors. Believe me, this meal with the potato salad and the coleslaw, big, big hit of flavors. And it'll go down a storm for your summer meals. Okay? Oh, Christmas. So, Obsessed with Christmas at the minute. Mwah! Enjoy cooking, guys. See you. Okay, guys. And this is what it looks like in the end. Good. You can see that some fat has come out, and incidentally, this tastes great. But very, very little because everything was quite lean. And then that is a delicious dinner. Try it out. See you next time.